Well, we have a serious Buster Rhymes fan in the house, and his name is Chef Clem. I do enjoy his Applause, music. everybody. Come on. OK, so uh, Chef Clem was actually showing me a bit earlier on uh, okay. just what you, when you bust into a mood because when you hear Buster Rhymes when song. When Jamie asked Raul what's his favorite Buster si yeah. song, and he, he couldn't like say what it was. Yeah. So and I thought like we should maybe do ours, okay, cool. like mine. Yeah. Are we, are we gonna do it with yes. me? Yes, okay, okay. Cool. let's go. Ready, Three, two, two, one, go. Touch it, bring it back. Watch it, turn it, leave it, stop for a minute. <laughs> get low, the piece of, get low. You gotta get low. Oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we do a better job making food, I must be honest. Let's like, just do what we do! Mm, I think let's food. do what we know. Uh, the thing is, we can already feel the chill in the air, everywhere, really. And there's nothing like a bowl of soup to warm us up during this time. Willie's has a delicious range of fresh and tinned soups from farmhouse chicken to tasty Thai butternut soup. The best flavors of the world, really, and they will hit the spot as well. And Chef Clem is making, woo, guys, a side of crispy baby marrow fries, the perfect dip for these thick and hearty winter soups we're going to be seeing and exploring, uh, courtesy of Woolies. Chef Clem. So I go through these food phases, like where I'll stick to curry and yeah. I'll have curry for a whole week. Yeah. And I don't mind waking up and having curry for breakfast. I, like, I'm, I'm okay with that. You've got themed weeks, basically. And this is weird. I don't decide them. My body just goes, this week. I that's feel like curry. Is. Yeah, so I this feel week. Like thai. And guess what I'm on this week? What are you on? Soups. Okay, well, that's a good thing to be on, especially because now they're all over the place and yep. they're on the daily difference, Check making a big Absolutely. presence on there. Uh, and there's a whole variety of them as well, which is mm -hmm. fantastic. I mean, there's a lot to choose from. Uh, what's your favorite soup to have? What I had for dinner last night, true mm -hmm. story, no lies. I had the butter chicken soup. Mm -hmm. So on Sunday, I did roasted chickens, had some leftover chicken. Yeah. And I'm always looking for amazing like ideas on how to use leftover chicken. So yes. I just shredded the chicken, fried it up a bit like super crispy. Yeah. Like crispy, crispy. Yeah. Heated up the soup and poured that over. It was the most mm. delicious soup ever. Mm. And that's what I like mm. about these soups. You kind of get them and you know that the quality inside the bag is yeah. exactly the quality and the ingredient you would use at home if you had to make yeah. them. But then that's the canvas. That is exactly Because then the you can just go crazy they can do from there. So much with it. In fact, we're going to be showing you now. My favorite has to be the farmhouse uh, 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 chicken soup. That is just yeah. so good. And the thickness of all these soups is really what makes it for me. But and anyway, the textures and the, the textures. Texture. Yeah, it's all in the texture and all in the thickness. Yeah. Uh, so let's see how we uh, bring in these to life today. I'm going to serve these with some zucchini fries, and they're really amazing. If you, like, I'd say they're a healthier version to the normal potato fry, but it's not. It's oh. just a more creative way to oh. actually have a fry. Oh. And I love zucchini, and I feel like they're underrated. People they are underrated. I mean, I don't even see zucchini often. I think this is the first time in 2020 that I've seen zucchini in front of me live. Like the door's this. over there. I have more chances of seeing Beyonce than I do of seeing zucchini. Okay, That's, now really, you know I mean. now you use the back door. <laughs> now you use that door, that way. Okay, no, zucchinis are really great. They've got yeah. a very neutral flavor palette, so they don't really taste for something that's like, strong if you if you're cooking zucchini you can't really smell like oh, okay someone's cooking zucchini mm. but that just means you're allowed to add more texture add more flavor to it mm. i love ingredients that have like a neutral flavor because yeah. that's where you get to be creative yeah. so we're going to be creative with the texture so what i did okay. is i just took the little woody top part off yes. and this is actually how they grow so this is a part that just snaps right off uh -huh. you don't want to eat that that's quite woody okay, okay? so right. don't seeing as you'll be seeing beyonce more that you'll be seeing zucchini i need to edit like i need to tell you these things if i eat that part i might actually never get to see beyonce no 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 no, it's not dangerous. Oh, it's okay. just like woody okay. and like chewy. Mm, so it's now, not what you want. Nah, it's not what, nah. you, what you're gunning for. Beyonce for. eats zucchini. I can believe that. She, she, yeah. she does. She I does. can totally believe it. So what you're going <laughs> to do is you're going to cut it through the middle mm. and you'll see that you, they have tiny, tiny, tiny seeds inside there. Yeah. They're so small, they're not even like, it's, it's not even a thing. So you leave that in there. Okay. Cool. cool. And then what you do is you're going to cut straight down the middle again. So you're just basically cutting them into the shape of fries. Yeah, you want to get these like nice little fries. Uh -huh. And what, you can also do little ribbons, which is also pretty cool. Ribbons? Okay, you're getting creative with okay. this. So again, top off. Okay. And then you just do... Super thin. Super thin. Uh -huh. The reason I like doing the little matchsticks uh -huh. is because they have more angles. And more angles, especially because we're going to make a, a bat, a bleh. We're going to make a bust a better batter. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm, about, I'm not about to do I like it. that, no. you're no. dropping the buzz. Because then. we're doing a batter on this, we're gonna, we have more sides for the batter to cling on, which means you're gonna have a crispier fry. Yeah, Whereas you're doing these, no hate, love these. These are cool, these will fry up even They're quicker. Flat. No, what's wrong with that? I just think that you're gonna get a little less crunch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if I want a little less crunch. 
Do I want a little less crunch? I you know best. I feel you. What Texture do I want? Is everything. You want the crunch, you want the most, Thank you, you want everything. But you know what's really <laughs> great about these ribbons? If you're on a low carb diet and you're yeah. making a bolognese, which I mean, bolognese is great. Also, big batch cooking, have a bolognese in the freezer always, but you're watching your carb intake and yeah. don't have pasta. These Ooh. make the perfect little pasta ribbons. So just serve the, your, your bolognese over this. Hack number one. Hack number, you want like hack number like five already? Okay, okay. okay cool. Joke. Cool. <laughs> now you've got your beautiful, you got your beautiful, we call them um, zucchini matchsticks. Yeah. By the end of this lockdown, I will have you eating zucchini. And, like, and loving it more and than I'm you love Beyonce. More than I'll you love Beyonce. What, I, no, I, and I have nothing against it at all. It's just that I don't get to see it often. Okay. People I live with don't make it, they don't cook it. Now, I'm here. Now I'm you're here. Okay, so I'm dusting in a little bit of flour. What that's gonna do is that's gonna help the actual zucchini stick to the batter. Mm. And the batter is super simple. I've got a bowl, I've got some eggs. And that's gonna go, the, the eggs are gonna be part of the batter. We're actually gonna beat flour mm -hmm. and eggs together. Almost like a pancake batter, but it's gonna go crispy. Mm. You want it well, to be even- This is fantastic, I love this. If you wanna get your hands on this recipe, we have loaded it with a whole lot of all of these ingredients that we're making use of. In fact, there's not a lot of ingredients we're using. Nah. Uh, the key and a hero ingredient of this recipe is definitely our woolly soup and how we're making that uh, a compliment our zucchini. Go on to expressoshow.com. We've got the recipe on there. Uh, okay. So now salt and pepper into the- Eggs. What's that? The eggs under? What's flour. That? Flour. Okay. Yeah, give it a good mix. And then you must, what you must do is you must mess. Well, I always say, if you're not messing in the kitchen, then are you even doing anything in the are kitchen? Are you even Isn't doing it, even it worth right. eating if it wasn't messy? Absolutely. I want a little more flour, so I'm going to take some of the flour from mm -hmm. this dusting over here. Throw like I said, there. you kind of want it to look like a pancake batter. Okay. Cool. So you're going to mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Very simple. So this recipe and this batter works really well with not just zucchini. You can batter things like brinjals. Mm. I love brinjals. Do you mm. like brinjals? Mm. Carrots. I love them. I love them. Yeah. A lot. Carrots go... Okay, cool. Like that. Carrots go in there to green okay. beans. What's in there? That's oil. Oil, That's oil okay, from deep cool. frying. So what you want to do, and again, guys, we haven't done this, but I always like, before we actually do fry anything, yeah. take a little bit of that batter on your, on your spatula, just on your whisk. Check, ne? Drop it in there yeah. and the stick it sizzle, that's what you want. Okay. So keep on going, just dip these in there, you get that batter and, on there. And this is what it looks like when you're done, basically. You're yeah. just gonna keep coating all of those and throwing them into a uh, hot oil in there. It doesn't take too long, it's just you need that sizzle. You wanna get it to this nice little light golden color, uh, mm -hmm. and then you'll see that they're nice uh, and, uh, uh, and crispy uh, as well. So this is what they look like yeah. in the end. I love this, this I so cool. absolutely love it. Uh, let us know what you think of these. Are you going to be trying these out? Espresso Morning Show, SABC3. In fact, are you a big fan of zucchini? And Love what zucchini. other interesting things do you do with it? How are you going to be bringing all of these soups to life at home? At home? Show, show us what you're going to be doing and share your recipes with us. But of course, if you want this recipe, again, go on to expressoshow.com. Happy eating!